Hello everyone, Sundrak here. So this is going to be a very speculative video and this is not going to be an actual playable build for Bao in the near future at least. Of course, with that said, before we get started, there is a Bao giveaway going on right now. All you have to do is link, uh, go in the description in the link, like, comment, and subscribe on that video and you'll be eligible for the giveaway. With that said, let's get started. So my idea is that Bao's character teaser was released yesterday. There are four characters in the teaser, including Bao. So what uh, personally I believe that Mihoyo might be hinting here is that these four might actually make a playable team that works very well for Bao. Now, uh, I know many of you are going to say right here, uh, three of them are dead, or at least two of them are confirmed dead. One of them is not playable until uh, one of them is still confirmed unknown. Now, what I want to say with this is that actually there are all three have relatives or at least clan members that are left over that are confirmed playable or going to be playable in the future. So I believe with all three of these revealed, we can actually get to see if these four will work together well on a team. And the idea I have for this uh, suggestion actually started with one of them already being compatible with Bao. So let's get started. So let's start from left to right. Sasayori is the Tengu general and her uh, he is actually part of the Kujo clan even though he didn't really consider himself a Kujo at that point. The main reason being that the Tengu general, the title is passed down within the Kujo clan. The current Tengu general is Kujo Sera. So, and on top of that, we already know that Sera works really well with Bao. And then especially C6, Sera can support Bao to increase the damage by more than 50% already confirmed. So with that, uh, given that Sasayori is also part of the Tengu uh, of the Kujo clan and part uh, and a uh, member of the Tengu generals uh, because you can see from their crow mask. So with all of those added, I believe that this is the first hand that we have at why uh, the, two, the three characters each of them is representing will be very compatible with Bao. Now I'll actually skip Chiyo first because the character Chiyo is representing isn't really officially revealed yet. However, I do have some solid evidence that is not leaks that confirms that she is going to be playable in the future. The second one we can look at Kitsune Saigu and of course the only Kitsune we know in game so far, Yaimiko. So this one confirms that Yaimiko will be um, coming. Now of course Yaimiko is already confirmed to be of the Electro Element. So and Bao can work well with someone of the Electro Element especially because she charges Electro characters even faster than she charges normal characters. So with this added, I believe that Yaimiko could also be a potential team that can work well with Bao. Now, of course, we'll have to look into our kit once her official kit releases. Finally, let's go over Chiyo. The character Chiyo is representing is actually a little hard to find, and his name is Arataki Ito. Now, if you aren't, if you already know him, he has been revealed, he has been revealing himself several times through all the different posters in Inazuma poster boards. And what he does essentially he is he is currently the sort of GAN leader for part of the GAN, and he is he crowned himself the Oni Sumo King. And the connection between him and Chio is that Chio is also an Oni and the uh, uh, Ito is also currently the only confirmed Oni in game. So the connection between these two is very much. And on top of that, Chiyo's clan actually has some um, lineage to trace between this uh, and Ito's clan. I won't go into that in too much detail. But if you trace down Oni's, uh, if you trace down Chiyo's clan lineage, you can eventually get to Ito. And the other reason is that. Ito and the reason that Ito is going to be playable in the future is because Mihoyo actually copyrighted his 3D model. Even though we didn't get to see it, but here is a picture of all the recently copyrighted Mihoyo uh, character 3D models and Ito's model is up there. Given the fact that Rosario's model was copyrighted back way back in 1.2 and Rosario became playable in 1.4, we should probably be expecting in Ito in around two patches. So of course with that said, I believe this is potentially hinting at the team between Bao, Yaimiko, Kujosera, and Ito. And of course, um, let me know in the comments below whether you think this is true or this is just pure coincidence. With that said, thank you very much for watching. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. Thank you and have a nice day.